Hi again, uh, here we are to continue our discussion of SpriteKit and making games with iOS. Um, in the last video I went over the default um, game project that you can create in Xcode and then I talked about the various files that are in use there and then we made a simple uh, SK sprite node object and put it on the screen. Okay, so uh, what else can we do with this? Let's talk just a little bit about programming with um, with SpriteKit, okay? So essentially the, the, the main objects that you use in SpriteKit are um, SK nodes, okay? And there's a couple different types of objects like this. Let me actually make one here. Um, I'll say let node equal SK node, okay? So SK node is an empty node. Think of it as a point on the screen. So this object contains a few properties. It's got an X and a Y and an alpha and uh, you know a few other properties, a Z position, right? Um, but it doesn't really display anything, okay? You can add other objects to this. So if you wanted to create a, um, a group of objects, you might create an SK node as the parent and then add objects to your node and then those objects would all move together, right? So, you know, for example, you know, I created um, a box object here and then I add it as a child of the scene, right? So I said add child, and so it's a child of the game scene, right? Because essentially this is, you know, self.addChild, right? Which would be game scene. Um, and game scene is also a node. So this a scene file is also, you know, a, a subclass of SK node. Um, so, you know, if I wanted to add, um, you know, box to, to, to the node here, I could say, um, let me get rid of this, right? Um, and then I can say, you know, node.addChild, right? And I could add box as a child here. And now if I transform node, then um, box will transform also. And if I created a second box, you know, I could add that also to node. So I could use node as sort of a group, right? Okay. So we're going to come back to SK node later. Um, the real king object here is SK sprite node. So SK sprite node is essentially a visible object on the screen, where SK node is just a single point that you can, and, and parent object that you can add other objects to. Um, for game objects, things that move on the screen um, and things that have like a graphical representation, right? Those are SK sprite nodes. So SK sprite node is an object that can display a texture an image, and a texture is essentially an image too, right? It's just a different way of looking at images that are a little more efficient, but uh, they're the same thing. So it can display a picture, it can display a background color, um, you know, uh, you can set the size, um, you can rotate it, you can do all sorts of things with this, right? But essentially this is the picture on the screen. This can also contain an animated series of images, okay? We'll get into that when we talk about um, SK action, right? So anyway, so here's our basic object here. This is what we're going to use most of the time, okay? Um, let's make a couple other objects, right? Like let's say we wanted to arrange this kind of like a game. Um, maybe I need a ground plane, right? So I'll make this an SK sprite node. And then um, I'll set it up the same way. I've, I've said, uh, you know, SK sprite node, and I use the exclamation point to make it an implicitly unwrapped optional, right? And then what we'll do is we'll say, um, you know, ground equals sk sprite node um, and then we'll initialize it here with one of these initializers again I'm going to use this one right here color and size and maybe for UI color I'll make it uh, brown color the ground is the brown right and then for size here maybe we'll do um, CG size maybe to make this a little easier we'll uh, We'll say ground size here, and then we'll define ground size up here and set it equal to CG size. And the width will be, uh, let's see, size.width, so it'll be the width of our view or, or our scene, right? And then the height will maybe be 40 pixels, okay? And so there we go. And now it should be at zero, zero. For, um, for sprite nodes, the um, reference point or anchor point is in the center, right? So if I view this one now, or view my project in this state, state ground will be in the lower corner there, right? Oh, I forgot to, um, to add it. Let me do that, right? Let's put this guy back. And we'll say add child uh, ground, right? And then we'll test it one more time. 
oh, there we are, right? So, so here is the center point, and my object is halfway off the screen, right? And then halfway off on the, on the left side. So let's move it up and over here. So what we'll do is we'll say, you know, ground.position x equals um, size.width divided by 2. And then uh, we can say ground.position y equals uh, ground. Dot, actually, we can just do ground size because we already have that, right? And do height divided by 2, right? And remember the reference point 0, 0 is on the lower left corner, right? So moving it up half the width will bring it up from the bottom, right? Oh, there we go. So there's our ground plane there, right? Um, so anyway, there's a quick a quick overview of um, of setting up uh, your basic sprites, right? Um, this is a little weird, you know, the exclamation point, right? But if we and then all of our sprites have to be vars, right? If I if this box right here was really a player object, I might make one of those, and it might not be a variable. I might want to use a let because I'm not going to change it. And I'm stuck here using this exclamation point, and that's because the default game scene doesn't use an initializer. Okay, so we've used did move to view. So this happens long after this class is created. If you want to um, set up your scene with an initializer, you can do that also. I'm going to do that here. I'm going to say init, and then I'm going to initialize with a size. Oops, that's not a size. Let's use CG size, right? And then once I start writing my initializer, we're going to see a couple um, problems here, right? So the first one, we'll do this bottom one, is it says required in it with coder, okay? So this is required because um, SK scene is a subclass of, or it conforms to the NS coding protocol, and so we have to have this initializer. So if we include any initializer, we got to have this one also, okay? So this allows us to serialize our class. It doesn't really do anything for us here, but if, if our game gets very advanced and we want to save the state of it, we could actually, you know, serialize this sprite or this scene and save it for later um, and, re, you know, re recreate it in the state that it was in when we saved it. So we'll leave that there. We, ha we have to, this is just required. We're not going to use it, but we have to have it. And then the other thing is this init with size, um, SK scene actually has an initializer in it with size, so it's going to ask us to override that, okay? And then we're going to get one more error saying that we don't have super, right? So it says super isn't called before these other things have happened, right? So what we'll need to do is we'll need to say super.init with size. And then we can just pass the size to our um, super class, okay? So that sets up our initializer. And now, if we want to set this up now, now pay close attention here because there's a couple weird things that just occur here in Sprite Kit, right? So if I want to create box here as a let, and I don't want to use the exclamation point, right? Then I can't create the box here in did move to view. Okay, but what I can do, I'm going to take box out of here, right? And I'm going to paste it up here into our initializer, okay? And you can see here, I can now, I don't have an error up here anymore, and I, I can create the box here like this. And then I can do things like set its position, X and Y, and you can see there's no error. I just removed add child, and you'll notice if I add add child here, you're going to see that I get an error, and essentially it's saying like, hey, you know what, you, you can't call a method of this class before you've called super init. So essentially it hasn't um, set up self yet, so we can't call any methods. We can set properties though, so we can create this guy, but we can't do this. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to do that after super. Okay, and to me at first this was a little weird, now I'm used to it, um, but that's, that's the way it works, okay? And then for the ground, we can do the same thing. So maybe we're only going to have one ground, and we know it's never going to change. We can make it a let, get rid of the exclamation point so it's not an optional. We'll um, copy all this stuff here. I'm just actually going to cut that out of did move to view, and then I'll paste it in here. And what we'll do is we'll say um, 
we'll say, you know, let ground size equal this. We'll do ground, blah, 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 with the size and color, and then we'll set the X and Y. And then we can't do add child here. We'll have to do it down here below super, okay? Maybe I'll make these look the same, right? Okay, and there we go. So now this should be the same as before, but now we're using in it, and we're getting a little bit more mileage and a little bit more organization about how our scene is created, okay? Um, what I like to do is I like to use a mark here to mark my initializers, and then after the initializers, I like to have another mark here for setup, okay? Um, and in setup, I might do something like this. Um, I might make a function called setup, you know, and I might have a couple setup functions for various things in my game. And what I like to do is I like to do all my setup stuff down in setup here. So instead of um, setting all these properties up here, like the height, you know, like the size and the position and things, um, I would rather actually do that down here. So maybe, uh, maybe I'll set up box down there, and then I will move these... Um, these properties here. So I'm setting the X and Y position for the box in setup, adding it to my, as a child object, and then setting the X and Y of the, um, of the ground here. I guess I'll, I can't use ground size here, but I can say ground dot size dot height. There we go, right? Okay, so I kind of like to do this, right? So I've got my setup area here. I'm just initializing my properties in a very basic way at the top. And then um, after super init, I'll call setup. Okay, and then I feel organized and I've got some comments in here to kind of organize my code. Okay, so anyway, there's a quick introduction on how you might work with your scene and use the initializers to set your variables. And then I'm covering some kind of odd behavior maybe of um, how initializers work in, uh, in SpriteKit there. Thanks.